Hey guys, this is Udi. So I think what we'll do today is have a look at Synthmaster Player, Synthmaster 2, and Synthmaster 1. And they all come from KV331 Audio. And they are pretty much my favorite um, synthesizers. I'm going to do a very quick overview here. I thought it would be a good idea to, to just show you in one video oh, you know, what's the difference between them and what you get when you, when you install any of them. So let's start with the Synthmaster player. So this is a boxed kind of uh, synthesizer. You don't really have um, the oscillators or the envelopes or whatever. You, you can't shape the sound much. You get all the presets and you get actually 1700 different presets um, when you install the, the, um, the standard edition. You also have a free edition, which is uh, really uh, awesome anyway, because it comes with something like 600 presets. So it's it's really, I mean, I would definitely try it if I were you. And the, the paid version here, it really is, uh, I mean, it is a great value. So what you get is, is a way for you to uh, filter out the sounds that you you'd, would like by instrument type, musical style, or the author. And you can also purchase all kinds of um, uh, preset packs here. So, uh, for, I mean, th these are the, the presets that I have. You can click show all and see whatever there is uh, available on their site, and you can purchase what, you know, whatever you like. And they, they do have some examples out there in SoundCloud, so you can hear, you know, exactly what kind of sounds you get before you buy. And I, I, I do have a video showing or, you know, um, showcasing some of the presets, so check it out in my channel. And that, that's pretty much it. So when you select whatever, um, when you select whatever preset, for example, let's take uh, this uh, chord thing here. So y you have some easy knobs here, and some of the preset they have some, you know, something configured here. Some don't. So if you select something else, you see th this preset does have the easy, um, the easy buttons here um, programmed. So for example, let's hear it. <laughs> select something else to stop the echo um, also they they have some some effects l laid out here uh, for layer one and layer two and if you don't know or you don't own synth master 2 you don't you don't really understand what what the meaning of that so in synth master 2 you you actually have two layers and each each of the layer can have its own set of uh, insert effects and send effects and so on so again the synthmaster player is a player for whatever is programmed by the full-fledged synthesizer synthmaster 2 and if you buy or you upgrade to synthmaster 2 then you get everything you get uh, the presets but you also get the the ability to create your own patches or change whatever patches um, you um, you have programmed here. So let, let's have a look at that. So Synthmaster 2 is really um, a, a full, very, very unique, very good sounding synthesizer and it comes with a lot of options and if you if you don't know anything about synthesis then it's still a great tool for you because you can actually create your own sound here very easily and you can uh, try out all kinds of stuff and it's it's really fun so what's unique about this 
um, this synthesizer is that you you have two layers layer one layer two they, they are both they, they they are the same they are identical and each of these layers have two oscillators so let, let me just go to the uh, default preset here that's like a, just a, a sawtooth um, sound here and you have layer one layer two and you can see that layer two is turned off here so th this is where you control the mix of the, the the layers and you can turn on and off and each of these layers they, they come with two oscillators by default and this is the basic so changing the the waveform is easy you just right click and select let's say um, sine wave and you can just flick between them go on and on and on and what else so you, you also have some sampled waveforms here and see how many just an amazing collection all kinds of waveforms so now I, I can add oscillator 2 and that can be again whatever but also um, I mean these are the basic types if you click here you can actually select additive and what this means is that we are splitting oscillator 2 in this case to eight different oscillators so let's hear it I'm, I'm gonna shut down oscillator 1 so this is just one oscillator and so on but I can select different frequency as the base so so this is my root and I can have like I don't know seven semitones up and I don't know maybe um, 11 semitones up and I'm actually creating some chords here so if you know anything about chords you can just program that here and you can have up to eight different um, tones here and you have different volumes for each one and you can detune them a little bit and you can can have even some low pa I mean it, it's a filter built into uh, in, built into the the oscillator here so it's pretty cool um, if you go back by the way to to the regular to the basic waveform here you can have also number of voices like you can take up to 16 voices and you can change a lot of things here you can change the phase you can tune it and so on double clicking will get you back to zero and you can change the volume panning and and so on so there's a lot of options here you also have some modulations here which are Again, there are oscillators that can be used to oscillate your oscillator. So you can uh, you can uh, plug them before, like here, or after the oscillator, and you can select between phase and frequency modulation. The sound then is routed to filters, and you have a few options here. You can have filter one and filter two in series. You can have them in parallel. You can have them split, and the filters are are pretty good. Um, actually pretty awesome I mean and if you turn on one of you know filter one here let's go back to series so you have all kinds of algorithms you have digital which is uh, very very clean surgical and you have virtual analog and you have all bunch of other options which will uh, emulate some uh, other synthesizers um, filters so you, you can have more information in, in the user manual I'm not going very deep here you can also introduce a drive and distortion into the filter and you can select before after inside and so on so it will beef up your your sound <laughs> This is the basic idea here and I can just use five inserts here for any of the 
um, they affect you and you have many choices here you have delay chorus tremolo reverb whatever you want these are the inserts and so let's take i don't know let's take phaser turn it on and if you want to control it, all these five uh, options here you just go to your fx button here and you see the the five inserts and this is the phaser and you you, you see all the options here i'm not going into explaining exactly what's going on here but that's the idea and then um of course you you probably want to use some uh, adsr envelopes and you want to um, to have some uh, um, lfos and 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 whatnot so this is really um the way to do it is uh, um, just grab whatever for example voice lfo and you have also other options like global lfos let's take this lfo and all, all the options are here and you just drag and drop it wherever so i can take this uh, lfo and just drop it on the cutoff for example <laughs> And I can change the timing here. Sorry, I, I need to click sync. You get the idea. Same goes for the envelope. So I can just drag and drop, for example, this envelope and drop it on the volume here. This is pretty much it. I'm, I'm not going any any further than that. And then you you can go to the global FX, and here you can see your layer one inserts, your layer two inserts. You have the routing here, layer sends for layer one, layer two, and you have the global FX routing. And this is exactly what you're looking at this panel here, right? So in in SynthMaster Player, so you have uh, your layer one inserts layer two inserts your um, send routing and then the global fx so i can go back here and i can say hey let's have bus one reverb so you see you have the reverb here and <laughs> So this is pretty much it. The maybe the, the last thing that is important here is the arpeggiator. So you have a pretty capable um, arpeggiator here, and you have the modes and see see how many modes you, you even have chord or sequence, for example. So you can turn it on here. change the steps you can take this four steps and the bass time so th this is pretty much the idea so that's synth master 2 in a nutshell and then we have synth master 1 so synth master 1 is um, is a wavetable synth and it has uh, just one page everything is here so you have oscillator one on one side, oscillator two on the other side, filter one, filter two, and then you have the routing, you, you have the modulation, sorry. So you have uh, LFO one, envelope one, amp envelope one, and, and so on. And, and these three are for, for the second uh, set. So everything is right here in front of you so you can see for example you have oscillator one is uh, is then um, you know whatever wavetable is set here let me just go to the right track 
And you can see the, the filter routing, you can see exactly the, what's going on. We, we can see that oscillator 2 is not turned on here. If I click this little button here, it's turned on. And you can see right clicking, I can select waveforms, wavetables, uh, audio in, and so on. So I, I can just, let's take a wave, uh, like a waveform, wavetable. Um, analog. And I have the index here. And I'm guessing you can just grab LFO2 here, turn it on. And you can copy the settings, you can, you, you can do all kinds of stuff here. Um, so then you also have the mode matrix here, and you can then route the, the specific LFO from here. You can route it to, for example, the, the index and so on. So uh, let's see. So the source here would be, let's see what the source can be. Source will be LFO 1 or 2, so let's take LFO 2. And then the, um, this is the via, but the target can be, for example, oscillator 2. Um, let's see if I have the index here somewhere. Where is it? Wave index. Right. And I can change here the timing. LFO can go through another set of uh, modulators. So that, that's the basic idea. Everything is here in front of your face. And this is pretty much it. So I, I think um, all you need to do is uh, take the demo, try it for yourself, or uh, even, uh, I mean, I would just go for it, but uh, that's me. So uh, one last thing that I did forget is that SynthMaster 2 is also a wavetable. So if you go to uh, to layer one here, whatever. So um, by um, when I select the type here, let's go to oscillator one. I can change it to wavetable, and that's it. So I have a wave here. I can load all kinds of wavetables, and, and I have the the index and whatever. It's all here. And I'll turn off the arpeggiator here. And I can go to voice LFO, drag that, drop it on the index. So that, that's, that's the idea here. So there are so many options, uh, I, I mean, we can't cover it all. So that's it for now. Hope that was helpful for you. If you like it, then, uh, you know, uh, leave a message. And I'll see you in the next video. video. Thank you. Bye-bye.